everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, Donald Trump has a rather unusual relationship with Mike Flynn. Now, Mike Flynn is one of many people in Trump's circle that is, was involved with the, with the Russians. Uh, and Donald Trump himself is involved with the Russians. That's all public knowledge. I mean, there are videos of Flynn at a dinner in Russia with Vladimir Putin where he received an award from the Russian government. He had even appeared on Russia Today, which is Russia's propaganda outlet here in the U.S. And it was also well known that he had been forced out of his previous job at the Defense Intelligence uh, Agency because he was an erotic, erratic and chaotic leader. Trump was warned by President Obama that hiring Flynn was a bad idea, but he hired him anyway. And then while Flynn was serving as the head of the National Security Council, Trump was informed that Flynn was compromised and vulnerable to blackmail. But Trump kept him on until all of that became public. And then he was forced to fire him. But even after he fired him, he still tried to stop the FBI from investigating Flynn. Most bosses, when they fire someone, have little interest in what they do after that. And when that boss is a politician, they would usually distance themselves from someone who had the kind of baggage that Flynn was carrying. Instead, Trump risked his presidency and an obstruction of justice charge to try to protect Flynn. So the question is, why would Donald Trump do that for Flynn? In his whole life, Trump has never demonstrated any loyalty to anyone. He has routinely stiffed his employees, contractors, and the people who invested with him. He even stiffed the lawyers who defended him from the lawsuits filed by the people that he had stiffed. So why did Trump do all this for Flynn? Well, if you think that it was out of loyalty or that Trump had cared at all about Flynn, you're an idiot. There can be only one reason, and that is that Flynn has the goods on Trump. Like I said, Flynn is only one of many people in Trump's orbit who are also connected to Russia including his son-in-law and his children and many members of his campaign team. And they were all having secret meetings with the Russians. And they weren't doing it on their own. They were doing it on Trump's behalf. And Flynn can testify to that. So if you ask, where is the evidence of collusion with the Russians on Trump's part? Look at his behavior towards Flynn. I know it wouldn't be uh, accepted in a court of law, but that is very, very powerful evidence. Thanks for listening.